In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can automatically pull in live and historical stock data on European stocks. And for example, you can see we have stocks here from places like London, from Greece, Germany, Switzerland, Sweden, Spain, Portugal, Poland, Paris, France, Denmark, Belgium, and Austria. And again, this process is completely automated. So for example, if I were to delete the data here, but if I had just highlight our previously used formulas and drag it down, we can see it's going to take just a second to load in, but then all this stock data will automatically come in. So this is a very powerful way to pull in stock data for European stocks. And keep in mind, there's other countries and places you can pull in this data from. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step on how you can do this. Now, you may be familiar with the Google Finance function. For example, if I type in equals on Google Sheets, Google Finance, you can see it gives us a function where we can pull in some historical data on American stocks. But the problem is it's very limited in the information it can pull in, and it also can't pull in international stocks. So we can't use it in this scenario. Web scraping also does not work for international stocks. So because of this, I've created a function called ticker data. You can see if I type in equals ticker data, we have two different functions, ticker data and ticker data live. These functions allow us to pull in stocks from all across the world. And in fact, if we go over to tickerdata.com, we can see a very long list of different countries all around the world that we can pull stock information from. So for example, if we want to pull in the company's name, we can use the ticker data live function. We'll just click on the symbol right here in comma and in quotations, we can just type out what we want. So for example, if we want the company name, I can just type that out here and close this off and hit enter and you can see this data will automatically load in for a company that is from the United Kingdom, more specifically on the London Stock Exchange. So this is a very powerful tool, but we can also automate this tool as well. So for example, if I were to delete this and just click on company name right here and hit enter again, that data will automatically load in. So if I anchor down B3 to where it'll automatically stay on this ticker, we can just drag this function all the way across for price and industry and this data will automatically load in because we're using the ticker data live function for each of these metrics. So again, this was automatically pulled in. And for example, maybe instead of industry, I want to see sector. I could just type in sector right here and hit enter and it'll automatically update once again. So this ticker data live function is very powerful. Now what's really cool about the ticker data function is we can pull in almost any key metric and any metric from the financial statements. So for example, if I use ticker data, I'll come over here again, select the symbol. We'll come over here and select the metric that we want. So in this scenario, maybe we want to see free cash flow. But what's really cool is we can see decades of financial data. So maybe I want to see free cash flow for this company back in 2000, 2010, or up to now. In this scenario, let's say I want to see the data from 2021. So I can type the year where I want to see free cash flow for this country and I'll hit enter and you can see this data will automatically load in. And again, if I come up here and anchor down cell B3 so that it will automatically stay on our ticker, I can drag this formula over and we can see this data will automatically load in. So now we have the gross profit and earnings per share for this company from London. Now, one of the things you may notice is this is British American tobacco company we're looking at. And at the end of the ticker, it has .l. And the reason behind this is if we go over to exchanges, let's see if we can find this company. If we scroll down just a little bit, we can see right here, we have London Stock Exchange, country United Kingdom. The extension is .l. So anytime we want to pull a company from the London Stock Exchange, we type in the ticker and then put in .l. So the example here is so B-A-T-S, and then the extension for the London Stock Exchange is .l. So we have .l at the end of it, and that's exactly what we did, and that's how we were able to pull in information on this company from the London Stock Exchange. And now if I just simply adjust all these formulas to where I can drag them down, we highlight this and drag it down, and we can see all this data from all of these countries all across the world will automatically load in. And again, for example, maybe instead of free cash flow, we want to see something like net income. I could just type that in right here and hit enter and all of this data will automatically load in for. So the ticker data function and the ticker data live function are extremely powerful tools. And with ticker data, we have stocks from all across the world where we can pull data from, whether it's Europe, whether it's North America, South America, or Asia, all across the world, we can pull in data, even in places like Australia. So if you're interested in getting access to the ticker data function and also getting access to a library of pre-built stock analysis and portfolio tracking spreadsheets, then you can head over to tickerdata.com. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.